Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you're a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Sagittarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do... Um, resonate with this reading please consider subscribing and liking this video so in this reading if you are in separation if you're in no contact if this person ghosted you we are going to see their feelings intentions what are they thinking how are they seeing you their next actions okay so we have the five of pentacles here it tried coming out in reverse. Also have the Knight of Wands. Okay. Three of Cups. of the deck we have magician the world ten of wands page of swords so this person could be keeping an eye on you stalking you trying to gather information about you magician here the world this person is definitely trying to manifest a new cycle here whatever ending happened between the both of you this person is trying to manifest a new cycle here but yeah this is um it's very difficult for this person to manifest this cycle. It's almost like they are trying everything they possibly can. Whatever manifestation techniques they are trying to put like, put into work, it's really not working that well. I also saw the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So this person is definitely like there's, uh, there's imbalance here. This person needs to balance their emotions first. Because if they don't, no matter how hard they try to manifest you, it's, it's not going to work. Okay, so the... Hermit came out too. So yeah, doing some soul searching. This could be you. This could be this person too. Doing the soul searching. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. We don't have any major arcanas out here. So that's that. Alright. So the five of pentacles tried coming out in reverse. Which means this person is definitely... They are trying to not feel lonely, not feel alone, not feel abandoned. They are trying to get out of the state of missing you, feeling lonely and abandoned by you. And even if you you are not the one who abandoned this person, this was this person messing things up. It's still this person just missing your energy, missing your warmth, feeling very cold and detached from you. Like they can't have your energy back in your life. In their life sorry and that is what this person is um this is why the five of pentacles came out in reverse they are trying desperately to get out of that five of pentacles mentality of feeling like it's over they're just going to keep feeling this person also doesn't want to keep feeling the five of pentacles energy of abandonment so we have the death here scorpio energy eight of wands yeah death eight of wands they're trying to transform the situation they're trying to transform this connection whatever ending has up happened here this person wants to transform that they don't like this ending and they want to communicate eight of wands is communication so they want to communicate king of wands very a lot of passion for you feeling very passionate for you, feeling that they can do it. They can communicate with you. They can make this work. This is not the ending. Trying to be that fiery, passionate energy of King of Wands and going after things that they want. 
without giving a second thought they just want to come towards you they do want to communicate with you they do want to transform this ending that has happened between the both of you also with the death here this person and the eight of wands this person doesn't really consider this to be an ending it's like a temporary pause is a very fiery energy the knight of wands is again that uh, passionate kind of energy but the knight of wands isn't a very stable energy the knight of wands is very in and out so the knight of wands is the kind of energy that is very hot and cold it's a very also a very unreliable energy so the knight of wands this person is just feeling the passion they can't think straight almost right now the passion is uh, that intense for this person and that is why they're taking also we have the emperor here the emperor again is mars energy aries energy so it's that stubbornness it's that going after things that they want that kind of energy so this person is trying to balance themselves out um, with the hanged man here they are definitely trying to gain a better perspective they are trying to be patient they are trying to look at things from a different perspective trying to gain the clarity regarding the situation and not just focus on the passion that they have for you because they do want reunion like they see you as the three of cups and the three of cups also came out like in their feelings so they do just want to be with you again there's this energy of wanting reconciliation with you, reunion with you. They miss the happy moments you shared together. The memories, the moments, they miss it and they want to recreate that. Oh, and we do have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. With their strength. So yeah, they, they want that happiness back together. They want to be happy with you again, celebrate with you again, have fun with you again. But at the same time, they need to temper this beast, the strength, the passion they have for you. That, that just, I want, I want Sagittarius. I want to have Sagittarius back in my life and to be with Sagittarius. Just that passion, they, they need to temper this and they're trying to do that, which is a good thing actually. Are the three of cups? Ooh. Here comes that devil and the queen of wands. So we have the king of wands and the queen of wands. So we have a true match here. And here comes that passion, that obsession. This is this could have been a very, very um, physical, sexual kind of connection. Very 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 sexual but yeah they see you as the match like they see you as someone like you are you totally were at par with them you were the true match and the devil here okay but with the three of cups and the king of wands queen of wands it's very possible that you both liked drinking and partying a lot and then you know um doing it so this person misses all those moments with you and with the devil here they can't get you out of their head they are very very obsessed with you they see you as someone who has a hold on them like no matter how much they try to distance themselves from you distract themselves from this connection they can't because you have a hold on them oh and we have the lovers here. This is a very intense connection. And the intensity is in your side too. Like it is, a, this doesn't feel like a one-sided thing. Like you are very passionate about them too.
So more than love or feelings, the passion is very, very dominant in this reading here. Okay, let's see the Ace of Cups. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Gemini. Wow. That actually changed the reading in the in a very very good direction with the ten of pentacles and the ace of cups so the true intention is the ace of cups so they do have feelings for you it's, it's just not that heat and passion and the ten of pentacles clarifying the ace of cups yeah they they just don't want to be physically with you they and that is why they are trying to temper themselves that is why they are trying to balance themselves out because they want more than just the passion more than just the heat they want stability here they want a future here and as much fun as that passion and chemistry is it's instant gratification it doesn't really stand the test of time so this person wants a kind of relationship a kind of connection that really really lasts long here talks about completion give me a minute that's better all right so this person wants stability with you the ten of pentacles they they don't they have they are feeling very much in pain very much betrayed very much like things have ended but at the same time this person is trying to move on from this pain here i also feel like this person has tried to move on from you move on from this connection not think about this relationship not think about this connection but clearly that has not worked in their favor because they can't get you out of their head this person has definitely struggled in making you know making the choice especially with the two of swords being there in their actions this person is still struggling with the choice still struggling to temper themselves still struggling to choose this connection choose you choose this relationship i also feel like because there's a lot of passion here a lot of heat because they feel like you are the true match it's almost like uh, this person got scared they got scared and they wanted to run away with that eight of cups they wanted to just leave everything behind but they they clearly couldn't do that and look at that they they are they tried moving on but you keep haunting them they lost their sleep they lost their mind over this connection they tried moving on but uh because it didn't work out this person was forced to confront their feelings for you okay let's clarify that two of swords clarify the two of swords please star seven of cups yeah the confusion the confusion is still there in this person's mind the star came out in reverse so that's that not finding a way out not being able to make that decision not feeling connected with their intuition enough to make that decision the hermit came out the hermit was there at the bottom of, of that deck i showed you so yeah this person still needs to find some answers this person they are hooked on you 
and they want something with you but when it comes to their actions uh they still need a lot of time because they are confused they need to get out of their head also with the star coming out in reverse the star talks about hope great hope right so this person could be feeling very hopeless about this connection this situation working out and that could be one of the reasons why this person isn't wanting to communicate with you but the two of swords talks about choices being at crossroads so this person needs to make a choice they need to get out of the head and make a choice But it's going to take some time for this person to do that. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius. You just want me to chase you, don't you? This is that energy of, you know, they, them feeling like that you have a hold on them and that you have, like the ball is in your court and you are, you are the one who's in charge here because you have a hold on them. temporary pause I guess I said this temporary pause but yeah three of cups repeated here twice reconciliation okay. we also have focused on self growth and healing soul searching which is basically the hermit card here yeah, they are trying to look for answers. I know we will meet again. I don't know how, but we will. Destiny, fate, true love. Also, we have, can we just pretend that the past never happened and start over again? So yeah, this person wants to start over. They want another chance here. And they truly believe this is a temporary pause or a re um, there is reconciliation on the horizon. All right, Sagittarius. Well, that's your reading. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.